Mental toughness is not something that you are born with overnight. It's something that's developed through constant exposure to hard things. It's by continuously going into that cold shower when you don't feel like it, going to the gym when you don't feel like it, going on the run when you don't feel like it, waking up early when you don't feel like it, and doing the uncomfortable things to callous your mind. I didn't always have mental toughness. And certainly there are times that I have not been mentally tough. Last year was a true test of my mental toughness in more ways than one. I went through the United States Marine Corps boot camp. And if you've heard the rumors, it is the hardest boot camp in the United States. Maybe not the world, but in the United States. There's Navy SEAL training as well. It's above that, but it's the hardest branch to just get into through their boot camp. It's three months long of waking up at four in the morning, being told when to shit, shower, and shave, given only a couple minutes to do so each day, walking and running nonstop, doing drill, eating maybe 100 calories per meal, sitting through just hell. And that built mental toughness. I didn't always have the mental toughness, and it wasn't the Marine Corps that gave it to me, but it did build more. You might be wondering, what's the importance of mental toughness? Why do I need it? Who needs to be mentally tough in these days where comfort and information and entertainment is so easily available? I think you need it because hard times are going to come. There's going to be a day or days when there's going to be a need for strong people. You're going to need to be one of those strong people. Imagine the competition you're going up against right now for a job, for your future partner, for your current partner, any, any people that you're interested in, any friends that you may want to have, the business opportunities you want, like anything. Imagine the competition for that and imagine being weak-minded while trying to pursue those things. Can you imagine what a strong-willed, strong-minded person will do against a weak-minded person? They'll crush them in competition. No question about it. Intelligence, strength, natural given talent, that doesn't matter in the face of mental toughness. Because ultimately, the stronger-willed, stronger-minded person that has the belief in themselves, the will to go, and the why to go, they will do it longer than the person that has the talent or just the God-given potential. Your why is very important. Your why is so important. You need to have a reason why you're doing these things. You, don't, you can't just have this, this wish-wash reason, no, I just want to do it because I want to do it. That's a horrible reason. You need a reason. You need a reason to do what you are called to do each and every day. Your why needs to be something specific. It needs to be somewhat time oriented. It needs to have a start and an end point. And if it doesn't have an end point, it needs to drive you even on your dark days. For me, during boot camp, what got me through those days was being able to see my wife again, being able to see my firstborn daughter when she's born. If I didn't make it through boot camp, I could have been stuck on Paris Island for months on end, months longer than three months, maybe even a year. And I would not have seen my daughter be born. I would not have seen my wife. I would not live in this house. There's a lot writing on the line. It was like life or death for me. And it needs to be like that for you in some way, shape or form. I believe in burning the boats. It kind of just gives you more reason to do the thing. What are some easy things that can help you build mental toughness in here and now. What can you do right now to build mental toughness? There's two things I recommend, actually three things I recommend. It is meditating, journaling, and working out. Meditating is a disciplinary action that takes a lot of focus and effort to maintain. Say you start focusing on your breath for your meditation. You're in, you're in your chair, you start focusing on your breath. Your mind wanders. It takes discipline, focus, and a strong will to bring your attention back to your nostril and keep on doing that for five, 10, 15, 20, 30, even an hour, 30 minutes. Journaling 
helps you get your thoughts on paper. It helps you get a clear goal, helps you get a clear mind space for what you want to do. It helps you focus, not only focus on the task at hand and what you need to do, but it helps you focus on why. It gets your personal desires out for you to see and for you to accept. It gets your feelings and thoughts out on paper so they're not distracting you later on. And gratitude journaling will make you happier and a better mood and overall more grateful for your life. Then you don't have to be bogged down by the weight of mental illness. And working out, it's pretty self-explanatory. It calluses your body and it calluses your mind because each and every rep that you push beyond what you want to is building up the, the instinct in your body, the reflex in your body that, okay, we do hard things. We go past when we feel uncomfortable. And that is an invaluable, you can't pay anybody to attain that. You can't pay anybody to gain that skill. With that being said, I hope you all get some mental toughness in today. Make sure to work out, journal, meditate, find your why, and just go all out on your purpose and don't stop because your, comp your competition is coming for you, including me. I want you all to succeed. Mwah.